Hi guys and girls, um, this is Lisa and I'm going to show you how to make a little gnome out of Sculpey clay. Alright, so first of all, in your kit you have some peach clay for the skin color and some white clay for the beard, blue for the body, red for the hat. Now if you decide to switch and have a blue hat and a red body, that's fine. Okay, um, so you're going to take your clay and you want to pinch off um, a small piece of peach and you want to roll this pinch off a little piece so you have a nose okay now I don't know that is not every big if your nose might be bigger might be smaller you can decide how big you want your little nose to be but it's about the size of a pea okay and then you also want to pinch off a couple more pieces maybe about that size or even a little smaller for the hands okay so I have three little balls of clay for the hands um, now I'm going to take uh, my blue piece and I'm going to pinch off a little piece for the arms. Okay, so just a little one, just a, maybe like a, a quarter of it. And now I'm going to pinch that into two pieces so that the arms are about the same size. Make sure your hands are clean when you're working with Sculpey clay, especially with the light colors. I would save red for last because red does tend to get all over your hands. And you might want to put down some paper or paper towel so you don't get it all over your table. Okay, so the little hands, I'm going to just kind of roll them back and forth and make a little coil or for the arms. And now I'm going to just shape a little sleeve. Okay, and I could tap it to make it flat on the bottom. Okay, now with the rest of the clay, I'm going to kind of squish it and roll it for, so I have a body. So kind of round like a little log. Now I'm not making mine very tall, so it's kind of like a short, thick log, okay? And I'm going to attach the arms on each side by just kind of pressing it against the top, like up where the neck would be. I'm going to press that on there, okay? Now with your extra clay that you have left, you can make all kinds of things like beads um, or maybe a little mini gnome. Maybe you'll have enough to make two gnomes. Um, you can make like a little, a little animal, just lots of different things you could make. Okay, so there's the body. And now for my nose, I'm going to stick the nose right at the top. That's where the nose is going to go. And I'm going to take some of this white clay. You won't need all of it, but take uh, maybe a half a chunk. And now you need about maybe three or four pieces, just small little pieces. And I can see a little bit of blue on mine. That's okay. I just you know, make it a little colorful beard. Okay, I'm gonna divide these into little pieces here, and I'm gonna roll those on the table. Just, it's white, so I'm gonna roll it. And you want it to be just about as long as the body. And if it's too long, you always pinch a little bit of it off. And I'm gonna stick those all around the nose. So I'm gonna start with one piece there, and you can add more or less little pieces around just to make your beard however you want your beard to look. Okay, so you might notice you can't actually see a face on this gnome. That's okay. His hat is going to cover that. And just kind of come up around the sides of the nose. Okay, and again, you can decide how many pieces of the beard you want. So here's what I've got so far. Okay, now I'm going to stick the little hands on the bottom. Just kind of squish those on. Okay, there's that. And my hat, um, I don't think I'm going to need all of that, but you can make your hat bigger or smaller depending on what you want it to look like. And I'm going to just kind of soften this in my hands. Roll it into a little ball. Now I'm going to squish it at the top to make it a little bit pointy. And I'm going to tap it on the bottom to make it flat so it'll sit right on top of that blue piece. Now it looks kind of like a Hershey Kiss. Now if you wanted to be creative, you could mix these colors together and make it striped or marbled. So really you can have your hat look very different than mine. All right, now I'm just going to press that down right on top of the nose and the body and just squish that hat down. You can leave it pointy or you can bend it over like I did on this one. 
Now for my little shoes, I'm just going to pinch off a little bit of black, roll those into a little tiny shoe shaped balls. And again, you can have big feet, little feet, however you want your feet to look. I'm going to squish those on the bottom. Okay, and you might make sure he'll stand up and smooth those on. Okay, and you can again, I'm, I can make this up or down. If you want it down, just kind of bend it over a little bit. All right, now you need to lay this on a piece of like aluminum foil and you want to put it in, turn on your oven to 275 and you want to uh, probably keep this in the oven for about 15 minutes. Uh, you might check, you don't want it to burn. Um, and then when you take it out, let it cool and you'll have your little garden gnome.